so excited to go to the opera tonight. It's this epic tale called Don Carlo. Isn't Don Carlo that guy who sleeps with tons of women? That's Don Giovanni. Oh. I thought that was Don Juan. Oh, yeah. They're the same guy. Oh. Anyway, that's not what Don Carlo is about. It's basically the ultimate story of daddy issues. Even more than Kylo Ren and... Ah! Oh! No spoilies, no spoilies, Wendell. Well, if they haven't seen the new Star Wars at this point... Well, anyway, it's about King Philip of Spain, his son Don Carlo, and a young princess named Elizabeth. Don Carlo goes to France to see Elizabeth, his intended bride, and he falls head over heels for her. That's nice. Most arranged marriages don't start that way. Yep, except at the last minute, the treaty changes. Now Elizabeth must marry old King Philip, not Don Carlo. Whoa, that's like if Prince William brought Kate Middleton home to meet the family, and Prince Charles decided to marry her instead. Ew. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't go over well. Carlo is still in love with Elizabeth, who is now the queen, and he's not exactly feeling the love for his dad anymore. So he agrees to help the Flemish people with his friend Rodrigo. His dad has been oppressing them as part of the Spanish Inquisition. The Inquisition, let's begin. The Inquisition, look out, send. Don't you guys know Mel Brooks? <sighs> Carlo sends secret letters to the queen and people get suspicious, especially a gal named Princess Eboli. She's got the hots for Don Carlo. A Princess Eboli lures him into a trap by sending him a letter and pretending to be Elizabeth. Now Eboli knows that Carlo is in love with the queen. All the secret letter drama could have been avoided if they just used Snapchat. Uh, seriously. Things come to a boiling point when Carlo demands freedom for the Flemish people and his dad says, no siree. Carlo gets thrown in jail and a bunch of heretics get burned at the stake. Burned at the stake? Mm. Jesus. Yep, Jesus was kind of the point, Inquisition and all. What happens next? Well, there's some tension between Philip and the Grand Inquisitor, a church versus state kind of thing. And Eboli is hell-bent on creating even more drama. Does Carlo get out of jail? Do the Flemish people get freed? What happens with Elizabeth, Carlo, and the king? You'll just have to come tonight and see. Only if you promise I won't get burned at the stake. At the War Memorial Opera House? Never. I can't say the same for all places, though. Ah, I'm out of here. Furry people. See you at the San Francisco Opera!